Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So if you guys can't tell by the title or the box sitting right here, then we have the tow mirrors that just came in, and as you can tell, they are from Boost Auto Parts. Um, excuse the noise, there's somebody mowing outside, but I got the door closed. But anyways, what we are going to be doing today is uh, opening the box up, of course, and then taking out the mirror caps and painting them. So before I get too far, just want to let you guys know this is not going to be the install video of the mirrors. It is just going to be the painting part of the mirrors. The next video will end up being the install of the mirrors. Uh, it's already almost six o'clock at night, so I'm not going to have enough time tonight to paint them and install them. So I just want to get the painting part at least done right now. So that way I can tomorrow uh, put them on the mirror and then install the mirror itself. But um, we have got the mirrors right here. And then we have also got all of our paint and stuff down here. We've got, I think that's clear coat, those two bottles. Those would be our two bottles of paint. And then there's two bottles right behind there. I guess you can't see right now, but that would be, I think the adhesive primer. So I'm not going with like actual painting supplies because then I'd have to buy a bunch of painting stuff. So I just went ahead and I bought the paint and all that stuff in cans. So I'm really hoping this will turn out at least somewhat decent because if not I just spent $100 on paint and then I <laughs> spent it was like $550 for the mirrors by the way link for these mirrors will be down in the description below but yeah I'm just really hoping I don't screw it up I haven't even opened the box yet so I guess let's just go ahead and get this opened and just to let you guys know right now um, it does come with like a sticker right here telling me what I ordered so I'll just read that off to you guys. I got the mirrors with the paintable mirror caps, but it's the U paint. So, you know, I have to paint it myself or I guess I could take it to a shop or something, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna paint it myself. Um, and they're also the smoked lens. They're also the switch back lights. So that means we've got a running light and a turn signal in there. Um, just like the headlights. If you guys have seen the headlights before, then it's just like those. And I also got the upper only for the defrost setting. Uh, I didn't really see a need for a lower and pay more money for it because I don't think it's really going to be parked outside too much, especially during the winter. So I just went with the heated only or the heated upper only. Um, and then it's also the 2018 model. So you had to pay an extra $30 for that. And then my truck does not have the puddle lamps. So that was an extra $20, I think, because the truck doesn't have puddle wipes. I don't know. So that means it's a eight pin wiring harness instead of the 21 or 22 wiring pin harness. It's something like that, 21 or 22, that's with the puddle lamps. But without it, I know it's an eight pin wiring harness. So let's get this pulled out, make sure everything looks good in here, nothing's broken. Get that top piece off. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the box here because I'm sure you cannot see that far away. All right, so box is opened and here is what is included. We have I got a sticker, which is super sweet for Boost Auto Parts. That's where the mirrors came from. And we've got a mirror here or maybe both of them here. I can't really tell. I think just one. I'm guessing the other one's underneath because it's a pretty big box. And then we've got our caps right here, at least one of them. The bottom one is probably down below. And then we've got some wiring over here. And that's all connected to the light itself, as well as two zip ties and a koozie. <laughs> koozie and two nuts that are connected to washers somehow. I don't know. Um, two little pieces of um, whatever you want to call it that we need to use. So let's just pull this mirror out real quick. Like I said, we're not going to install it today, but we're just going to take a look and make sure nothing is broken here before we get too far into this. It's kind of heavy. Cloth and stuff around it. Make sure nothing gets damaged while being shipped. There's none of this is damaged. This is all the styrofoam from the box. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's what the front looks like. And then here's what the back looks like. We've got our smoked lens. 
and then we've got the area where the uh, cap would go. So everything looks fine here, nothing looks broken. We've got our wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here before I break anything somehow. Now let's get this pulled out so we can look at the second one. Make sure that one's fine. Looks like we only got one sticker and one koozie in the first box. Nothing in the bottom box. We've got our mirror cap here. Looks fine. Check out our mirror. Make sure that looks good. Looks like everything is just fine there. We've got some kind of liquid over here on the mirror. I'm not quite sure what that is. Doesn't really smell like anything, but it's kind of, I don't know, it feels like a grease or a lube or something. It's just kind of slimy, but it doesn't smell like anything. It's just kind of on the hinges here, so maybe it's just an oil to make sure they open and close properly. And let's see, our smoked uh, cap that, or our smoked lens looks just fine too. So we'll go ahead and get these mirrors put away and we'll keep the caps out so we can get to painting. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull this whole box and everything out because I kinda want a stand or something that I can set the caps on to paint because I'm not gonna do it on the concrete. And it's really windy outside and I don't want dust to get in the mirror caps and all that stuff while we're painting. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use this cardboard box they sent as like a stand to paint on. All right, so before we go ahead and get this all totally started, I just wanna tell you guys how pumped I am to do this because I think it'll totally change the look of the truck. If you guys are new to the channel or anything, here is my truck. It is a 2018 F-150. We've got almost everything done to it, except, well, right now, tow mirrors and exhaust, and then a couple other small things here and there where, as if you guys follow the channel, you will end up finding out. But we've got pretty much everything done. Headlights, taillights, uh, emblems, fog lights, lift, tires, wheels, hitch. We've got a whole bunch of stuff done to it, tent. But something I really want to get done is the mirrors. Um, I was thinking about going with the black mirror caps um, that came with them. Because they sell them in chrome, black, and the paintable. But it's only the U-Paint. They do not paint anything it's only the you paint ones i was thinking about the black but in my opinion they just almost looked ch a little cheaper i don't know that's just kind of my personal opinion um i've seen them on some other guys trucks they don't look terrible but i don't know they just kind of look a little cheap to me so i wanted to go with the paintable ones plus i think the whole accents on the truck and everything which is kind of the black and gray i mean the black would have looked fine just the all black just that little bit of hint of paint on the mirror cap I think I'll just tie the truck in really well with those mirrors, especially with the wheels and tires because they're 12 wides and they stick out a good amount. It doesn't look too bad on camera, but I'll definitely tell you guys when you are driving this thing, it the mirrors, it feels like you have no mirrors. It feels like you're in a, what is it, a Tahoe or whatever, where they've got the little tiny mirrors that are like three inches big on this huge truck. It's, yeah. I, I just cannot stand these stock mirrors. Uh, I know some people are gonna hate on me because it is a half ton with tow mirrors, but I really don't care because I have the lift and wide offset. I almost just, it's more of a need than a want really. The only thing that was kind of the want was the painting of the mirror caps, but I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. So another big reason I'm really excited to do these is because I have searched all over YouTube kind of looking um, for a how-to for myself to do this because I watch a lot of YouTube to figure stuff out with this truck and just with Like almost everything and I have searched all over YouTube and I cannot find a single video anywhere about how to paint mirror caps I've seen them like how to paint them with um, like a spray gun and actual painting Actual like automotive painting and stuff where you've got an air compressor, but I haven't seen one with the spray cans so I guess I'll be the first to go ahead and try it myself and we'll see how it works. Hopefully I don't screw anything up too bad because I know on their website you can buy replacement mirror caps for these. So let's say I screw them up or break them or something. I can go on and buy new ones, but I'm pretty sure they're 50 bucks for both of them. So quite a bit of money there to drop on just the mirror caps. So hopefully I don't screw anything up. I've talked for a while. So I guess let's just go ahead and get into it. 
I'm gonna break this box down right here so I can use it and kind of get it set up and we can get our whole painting situation set up here. All right, so I've got our little makeshift stands here set up. I got two two by fours and then um, part of two by fours that are tiny and cut. So I'm just gonna be setting the caps on those and then painting, painting them while they're sitting on those. Um, but first thing I wanna do, so what we're gonna end up doing here is we're gonna take the mirror cap, we're gonna sand it down. I have 1500 grit sandpaper. So we're gonna be sanding um, these caps down because they're really shiny and reflective and we do not want that. We wanna sand it down so it's really rough looking. Um, and then what we'll do so we'll clean them off so we can get all that dust and everything off of there and then we're going to spray it with a couple coats i'm not sure yet how many but a couple coats of the adhesion promoter i think we do two to three coats with that i think you let about five minutes in between each coat to let it dry and then we're going to spray it with two to three coats of paint which we'll is kind of let those dry throughout and then we're going to end up spraying it with the clear coat and i think we're probably going to do about four coats of that so we'll probably do two coats three coats and then four coats. So two coats of the adhesion promoter, three of paint and four of clear coat. So I'm not 100% sure, but for now, that's just what I'm gonna say. First thing we're gonna do though is sand these down. So I'll take them out and we'll end up sanding them down and then we'll wipe them down. So let's get to that. And it is super hot out here. So from what I've heard, that the paint lays a lot better when it's hot outside. It's almost 90 degrees. I'm out here in jeans and I'm just sweating really bad. Let's just go ahead, as you can tell, probably when these are really shiny, so we want to get rid of all this shine. We want to scratch them down so that they're looking rough. Yeah, I can definitely tell it's doing the trick here. It's definitely not so shiny anymore. Not really sure how well I did or not I am no painter at all I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing so if I did anything wrong or if you guys would change anything please drop a comment let me know what you guys would change or do differently about this whole entire process so I sanded or scuffed the whole thing down as you can probably tell I think I don't know if this camera is really focusing or not or what you guys can see but at least from my angle you can tell the whole thing's scuffed down pretty good. There's a couple areas where it's still a little shiny and stuff, especially kind of on the edges. I really tried to get the edges too because I wanted to get up kind of up under in here and stuff because I don't want the paint just not to stick right there. I'm not going to do the inside. Nobody's going to see that. And as you can maybe see right here, I'm not sure, there's this weird line that goes right there, which I don't really know what that's about. I've tried to sand that and nothing's really happening there. I'll try again, I guess, and try and get up in this whole line. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. And then the sandpaper's kind of leaving these blue, if you can even see them, I don't know, these blue weird flakes that are coming off of it. So we'll just sand this down a little bit more, get the all the edges and corners and stuff a little bit more so none of the paint is gonna peel or chip or so we don't have any issues down the road. Let's just kind of hit it a little bit more. That line isn't really coming out of there, but I've kind of got it covered. I'm not really sure how good this is supposed to be. I think I got it pretty good or close enough to the best I'm gonna get it with this sandpaper. So I think we'll just uh, get a new piece of sandpaper here and we'll switch over to the other one. So if you guys can tell the difference from there, you can see this one is really glossy and reflective, whereas this one's all scuffed down. So we want to get it as close to this as possible, or I don't know if it's supposed to be more than that, but we just do not want it this shiny. So it looks like I kind of got the main surface area of it done. Just got to go around and hit the edges now. All 
All right, the camera went ahead and died on me. We went ahead, got this whole thing scratched up, um, got around all the edges and everything. I think everything looks pretty good on it. Everything's scratched up pretty decently. Tried to get around the edges as good as I could. So hopefully it'll turn out good, I guess. <laughs> um, but I kind of tried my best and we've used two full pads there. So I think we should be good now. I'm gonna go ahead and get a rag or something, wipe both of these down, and then we'll get this adhesion promoter sprayed on here. Got that wiped down. We should be good. We'll just do something like that, I guess. They're set up. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll shake this guy up and then there's a little cap in here. We'll just take that off. I think we're just good to go. Just gonna shake this thing up though for a minute or so. All right, we got it shook up. Pop the cap off here. We'll just spray it here. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be whatever that color is. So let's go ahead, get this all sprayed on here. We're gonna do one coat, and then we're gonna let it sit for five minutes and then do another coat. All right, the time is 6.30. We'll wait five minutes, let that dry, and then we will apply a new coat. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the tip of this, which is a bunch of crap on it, and I don't want that to stick. I'm not really sure what this stuff is. I just sprayed on there. It's called Adhesion Promoter. It's just almost like a glue, if you ask me. That's kind of what it felt like. And I'll show you guys here what the can looks like. Adhesion Promoter. And by the way, in case I didn't mention it, um, I bought all this paint and everything from Automotive Touch-Up. Um, there'll be a link in the description for both the mirrors as well as the paint. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I might have waited too long between the time I wiped these off and when I sprayed them at first. Because when I look up in here with a flashlight, I can see a bunch of black dots down in this corner, like maybe almost as if cloud of dust came through or something, which kind of sucks, but there's not much I can do about it. I did the best I could to prevent it by closing the door. Not sure what else I could have done. I don't have like a big tent that I could make a paint booth out of or anything. But yeah, I can see there's some dust that was on it because in the in this adhesion promoter when it laid, I can see the small little dots that are on there, like as if there's dust underneath and this stuff laid right on top of it. Oh yeah, right down there especially. So it's really bad. Like back over here and right down here on that one. Hopefully that's not noticeable, I guess, after it gets painted and stuff. So I'm reading the can and it says, apply two light coats of this adhesion promoter onto it. And so basically spray a coat, wait five minutes, spray your second coat, and then wait 10 minutes before adding your first layer of paint. So I probably went a little more than just a light layer. I probably went a pretty heavy layer. I guess our five minutes is up. I'm gonna assume it's dry. I can tell it's kind of shiny and stuff, but I can also tell it's somewhat dry. I did this one second, so I should be looking at this one. Yeah, I can tell it's pretty much dry. It might still be a hint or a tad bit wet. I'll just wait another minute just to be sure. All right, this time I'll just do a light coat. All right, call that good enough. Go ahead and wipe the tip of this off before any of this dries on here. So I can tell this can is still quite full. Um, what I bought is I got two cans of this adhesion promoter, and I got two cans of paint and two cans of clear coat. Um, it says you only need two layers of the adhesion promoter and like three layers of paint and then four layers of clear coat. So I'm sure I won't even use a full can of anything. Like you're supposed to use the most 
um, clear coat, and I'm sure I won't even use a full can of that. But I also bought this much paint because I do have flares coming for the truck. I ordered those probably three months ago. It was, I think it was in March when I ordered them, but because of this whole virus and everything going on, then um, everything's taking a lot longer than to be expected, especially like these. They said they were gonna be on back order for three weeks when I ordered them, and they showed up before the date of when they said they were even gonna ship. I guess they're not, they might be on back order, but not by much. Um, so it didn't take that long for them to get here. And I am doing this on a Tuesday night right now because I've got the first car show of the summer coming up here this weekend. And so it's on Saturday and I would have loved to do this on Saturday when I have more time. But unfortunately, I just don't have that kind of time. So I had to make time and come do it tonight, unfortunately. So what I noticed though, is while I was spraying this, like I said, there was some black stuff that kind of popped up down here and back on the back side of this one. Um, and then there was a small little bit on the top of this one. So I'm pretty sure what happened actually was this two by four. This two by four right here had some dirt on it. So I sprayed it and that dirt flew up on there. And it says on here, do not, on this can, do not sand or do anything to the cap after you put the adhesion promoter on. So I really hope that gets covered up or something because that'll suck if that gets stuck under the paint, but it probably will. So I guess we'll just see what happens with it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the paint out, the actual paint spray out, and we'll see what it says for that. So I'll show you guys here what the paint looks like. Looks like this. And it was actually really weird. I was looking at the paint colors for this truck, which is magnetic gray. And it, there's actually, it says, three different paint colors of magnetic gray. So I have no idea which one it is, but I know when I kind of had that uh-oh and I had to buy that tiny thing of paint, then I went with the J7 color paint. Um, and there's also two others, but since I bought that one already, I figured it was close enough. So I just went ahead and got it. The other thing with it too then is these won't actually be like on the truck as where like fender flares will be. So even if it's like a hint of a color off, I think it'll still look close enough because it's just on the mirrors. So it's not like it's right next to it on the truck exact comparison. I'm really hoping it's the same because I wanted to use the same paint for the flares, but I guess we will see. We'll go ahead and try it. Hope it is what's supposed to be the right color. All right, so from reading the instructions here, it is telling me we're gonna shake it for about a minute before we spray, and then we are basically going to do the same thing. We're just gonna spray it, again, six to nine inches away from the surface, and we're gonna wait five to 10 minutes um, for each coat to dry, kind of depending on if it still looks wet or not, or if it looks dry. So we will see what it looks like. And then it says, if anything looks, it says here, any imperfections in the paint should be lightly sanded at a thousand grit or finer sandpaper before applying another base coat layer. So I think what I'll do is I'll spray the first coat really light, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do the second coat and cover the whole thing. And then we'll look and see if there's any imperfections, see if we can still see that dust and dirt that's in there. If so, we can take that sandpaper and try and um, scratch that out or something. And then we can apply some more paint on there. It says apply two to three coats or until good coverage is achieved. Basically, if we have to scratch anything out with that sandpaper, then we'll just keep doing more layers just so that everything has a solid three layers on it. And then once we have a solid three layers and everything looks really good with it, then we have to wait 30 minutes and then we can apply the clear coat. Yeah, I can see back here, there's a little bit of black on there. And I can even see just looking at this two by four, there's dirt on it. So that is totally my fault, which I hate to say, but it is. Same thing right here. Let's see, this should be the passenger side, so I'm not gonna be looking at it all the time. I am going to be looking at that one because that's on my side, which is the driver side. This side is still a little wet because we did this one second. It looks like we might have one little hair 
laying on the top here, and we've got a little hair or something laying back there. Yeah, that looks really bad over here, but what happened is must have sprayed the first layer and it flung up on there because it looks like my second layer of that uh, adhesion stuff is over the top of it, so it's kind of stuck in there now, which sucks. But who knows, maybe when the paint's over it, we won't be able to see just because it's still clear and light and we can see. All right, I think we're good enough. We'll go, go ahead and shake this thing for a minute and then we'll get this stuff sprayed on. Call that good enough for our first layer. I probably almost overdid it again, but oh well. We're gonna wipe the tip off here, make sure we get nothing stuck in there. All right, so we'll call that our first layer. And it really does suck because I could tell again when I was spraying it, I could see some dust almost fly up from that two by four and maybe land on there, not for sure. Just based on it for right now, from looking at the camera, it almost looks black, but in person, you get up close to it. I'll try and show you guys. I get some angled lighting from outside shining on it. You can tell that it is more of a magnetic gray. It's going to be hard to tell because you guys don't have very good lighting, I guess, or whatever. But you can really, or at least I can really notice it on this one right here. I, I kind of went a little bit too heavy on it but I can really tell the gray color. And I think this thing is gonna turn out looking really good. At least I really hope. I am so excited about this. You guys don't even know I'm so pumped. The other thing with it is usually before, I'm kind of a cheater. Usually before I do videos, I try and watch a video on YouTube of it so <laughs> I can learn and know how to do it myself so I don't screw it up. But giving a different explanation and saying different things of what I've seen in the video this, I have not seen in a video anywhere. I guess I seen a video once of it, of somebody doing it to fender flares, but it was a completely different concept and everything. It wasn't meerkaps, and they did absolutely nothing like this. I just found their website for where they got the paint. And then I am just reading the directions here and just kind of reading some stuff online, trying to figure out how it works. DIY, woohoo. <laughs> Nothing better than doing it yourself. And I guess I'll go ahead and say it, all the paint and everything was around $100. It was just shy of it, but I got two cans of paint, two cans of the adhesion promoter and two cans of clear coat, as well as I got a little, uh, like a spray gun thing. It's like something you put on the top. I guess I'll just show you guys. Uh, it's this guy right here. So you're supposed to just put this on top of your can and then you hit the button and it shoots out like a gun so you can go like that. But I don't know, I just decided not to use it. But I think that was like 10 bucks. If you just get two cans of everything, you'll probably be around $90. Uh, but links for everything is down in the description below. All right, the can said five to 10 minutes. It's been like eight minutes and this was a super light coat. So we'll go ahead and get our second coat on here. Shake this guy up, get this thing sprayed. So the first coat, I tried to go for kind of like a 50% just to kind of get the base layer of the paint on there and kind of get all the white and adhesion promoter covered up. Now that we've got that, we're gonna not go like a super heavy coat, but get a good enough coat to where we're gonna cover all the white and everything up. I think it looks super good. Oh man, it's probably really hard for you guys to see. I'll try and show you guys better what it all looks like. So it's probably hard to tell or see for you guys. Try and get the light on there. I need to get a new camera. This thing is a self-focusing lens and it's super hard to run. You can tell the paint is wet. You can see in the reflections, at least I can see right there, 
there is some black spots of like dust and stuff right there we've got kind of a mark and then it might be hard to see for you guys but right up over here yeah you can see right up in there kind of on this whole side we've got all those dust spots I was telling you about and the same kind of thing you can look up on this one and you can see those dust spots so that really sucks so I think I don't know what I'm gonna do because I want it to look really like lay really nice and flat and everything oops see I forgot to focus it again I want this to lay really nice and flat oh and I try to get up under it in here and stuff get up in these lips tried to get up under here but as you can tell there's not much room to work with I don't know I really want to take that sandpaper and try and sand some of this out but at the same time if I do that I feel like that adhesion promoter might come off with it and then it is not gonna end up laying that good I feel like I'd have to redo the whole thing if I do that so I don't know let me get a light here see how bad it looks yeah you can see up in there if I can know how to focus you can see up in there all those marks and everything I might just leave it because it doesn't look absolutely terrible like the main area is right here up top and in my opinion that looks decent it's not like a hundred percent but I think it looks pretty good for me doing it here at home just a little DIY and then we've got a couple of marks here and there this side doesn't look terrible you can see kind of in that bottom corner where there was some dust and stuff like I said like I mentioned earlier but it doesn't look terrible on this one you can see there's one little tiny thing right on the top there and then this side looks pretty good and it's just kind of on the top you can't really tell when you're looking straight down at it but when you kind of come at a side view and the light catches it then you can kind of tell there's some dirt here and there so I don't really know what to do oh no it kind of ran hair right there paint got a little bit runny on me I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish out this whole process I'm going to put the next layer of paint on and then I'm gonna put all the clear coat on do all that you guys will see that here in a minute but I want to know in the comments down below those marks like that am I fine to sand it out and then just apply new paint or would I have to resand the whole thing and apply the adhesion promoter across the whole thing I have absolutely no idea so you guys and that are watching this video please leave a comment down below and let me know because like I said I know absolutely nothing about painting I'm just gonna leave it for now and if somebody says in the comments yes I can um, sand it out and not have to apply more adhesion promoter like not have to sand down the entire thing and apply more pr adhesion promoter chances are these will already be on the truck so I will just probably pop them off and repaint them if I'm even able to pop them off but otherwise if they say no you can't I will probably just end up leaving them like this because honestly they do not look terrible this side on the top looks pretty good this side has a little bit like a few specks here and there of dust when you catch it at the well wrong angle I guess because you don't want to see those and then this one and that corner and the other corner has got a little bit of dust spots unfortunately which really sucks I've got the two layers down camera battery's almost dead I got the charger but um, we're gonna go ahead and spray this and let it all dry and then Oops, and then we'll go ahead and charge the battery. But go ahead and get this third layer on. There we go. We have got all three layers of paint on. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this dry for 10, 15 minutes. And then we will go ahead and we will get the clear coat layers put on. All right, so I waited probably 30 minutes or so. I don't know. 
a decent amount of time. They're pretty much dry. I say they're dry all the way. Good enough. I got three layers of paint on there. Um, I did kind of take them off and look at them. And honestly, they're not the best. They definitely have their imperfections. I think from a distance, then you really won't be able to tell. But when you are close up to it, you'll definitely be able to tell. Kind of the inside, like the inside and outside and the top on all of them. They've kind of got some dirt in there. Uh, they've both got at least one run on the side of it. So it's definitely nothing absolutely fantastic like a shop did it. But for just DIY at home, I think it turned out decent. It definitely could have been better. If I, I think just if I wouldn't have went so heavy on the coats and cleaned off the wood before, I think it would have ended up turning out pretty well. But I guess you live and you learn. So for whenever I do the flares, I guess I hope those will end up turning out better. If you can't tell, I'm shaking up the clear coat right now. So should be good. It says for the directions, then we have to spray about four coats. And the last coat we're gonna let sit overnight. Uh, but we're gonna apply about four coats with about 30 minutes or so of waiting time in between each coat to make sure that it dries really well. I'd say that's good enough for layer one. Again, I probably went too heavy on it. Oh well, I guess. It's kind of already messed up, and like I said, I'm not really gonna redo anything because I don't know the answers, so I'm just kind of waiting for you guys to comment. But until then, I am just going to totally try and finish it, at least. So we'll wait about 30 minutes or so, and then we'll come back and we'll do another layer. Well guys, this was super long video, so it's gonna be cut into two different parts. But that'll be it for part one of this, what I'm assuming is going to be a two-part series, because I'm sure both video clips are gonna be long enough, or both videos are gonna end up being long enough because I know I have a lot of footage here. Other than that, just make sure you stay tuned for the second video. It should be coming out here real soon. Not quite sure how that's all gonna work or the dates for it, but just stay tuned. Part two will be coming, and then right after that, we will have the actual install of the mirrors. Stay tuned for that as well. Other than that, I think that'll be it for part one. So as always, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time.